I asked you guys to do this question on your own, but um, just to make things a little bit easier, I have recorded the answer for this, so uh, just for sake of time. So what's the first thing I'm going to do to both sides? I'm probably going to take the natural log of both sides. So, and the reason I do that is because I really can't do much else, but I can surely take the natural log of each side. So here's my step one. I'm going to take the natural log of 4 to the 3x minus 1 is equal to the natural log of 3 to the 2 minus x. Now these are power rules, so I get to pull them forward. So I end up with 3x minus 1 times the natural log of 4 is equal to 2 minus x times the natural log of 3. And what ends up happening here is I can distribute this value and so this becomes 3x times the natural log of 4 minus the natural log of 4 is equal to 2 natural log of 3 minus x natural log of 3. And the reason we do this is because we're trying to get all of our x's to one side and all of our non-x's to the other. So that's what we're doing. So I'm going to move over this natural log of 4 and I'm going to move over this x natural log of 3. And so I end up with 3x natural log 4 plus x natural log 3 is equal to 2 natural log 3 plus natural log 4. We can do some conversions here to make our lives a little bit easier. This is actually the natural log of 2 squared, and that 2 comes forward. So we, uh, And this is actually the natural log of 2 squared. So that 2 also comes forward. So we can deal with that. So moving to this half of my screen, I end up with uh, 6 times x times the natural log of 2 plus x natural log of 3 is equal to 2 natural log 3 plus 2 natural log 4. Um, or sorry, that's a 2. That's a 2. Uh, we can also leave these as, um, what was my next step? Where did I go from here? Sorry, I got a reference. This one was a little bit tougher. I got the ant. And, okay, I see. So I can deal with this right-hand side. So let's deal with the right-hand side, and then we'll deal with the left-hand side. So if I'm dealing with the right-hand side, I can rewrite this as the natural log of 3 squared plus the natural log of 2 squared. And I know we just undid that, but there's a reason I'm bringing it back together. If I don't have coefficients, it makes putting these two together so much easier. The natural log of 9 plus the natural log of 4 becomes the natural log of 9 times 4, which is the natural log of 36, which can be written as the natural log of 6 squared, which can be written as 2 natural log of 6. I know, that's a lot. And, you know, the only reason I solved this is because I did it one way and got to a fail point and then I crossed it out and did it another way. So I'm just showing you my end answer. But like trig, you might have ones that you reject and that's OK. Please cross them out. Don't erase them. I want to see your thought process on the left hand side. We've got uh, I can bring this six back. And if I bring this six back, I can um, take out that factor of X, right? And so this ends up being, or really we can factor out that X no matter at what point, because it's just X times. So this is X times six natural log two plus natural log three equals two natural log six. And since I've already got that X got like there, I can go ahead and either condense this down or divide all out or whatever I want to do. So I'm going to first condense. I'm going to bring that six up. This becomes uh, the natural log of 2 to the 6 plus the natural log of 3. And because that's the opposite of the product rule, I can put those together. The natural log of 2 to the 6 times 3 is equal to 2 ln of 6. And then we divide away. So our end answer is going to be here because I ran out of space. 2 natural log of 6 or 6 squared all over um, the natural log of 2 to the 6 times 3. So I could deal with these. You know, I could end up with natural log of 6 squared over the natural log of whatever 2 to the 6 times 3 is. I could finish that solve. I could keep on going, but either way, all of these would be correct answers. All righty. And that was how we solved this very intense question.